long you've been there? Um, your whole life. <laughs> we uh, could see that you was having a hard time. Yeah. Oh, and you, you spend every minute inside waiting for freedom, and then when you finally get it, you don't really know what to do with it. It's only in there for a week. Oh, so not enough time to get an A-level in woodwork. <laughs> Let me take a guess. You were surrounded by people day and night, and yet you've never felt lonelier. I only have my own thoughts for company. I couldn't wait to shut them up. Okay. I am so sorry. I could see that you was having that panic attack in the cult, but I, I couldn't get to you in time. The prison psychiatrist has confirmed that I have PTSD, which explains the meltdowns and the panic attacks. You know those old um, World Runner cartoons where you had the coyote who would drink the bottle of hot sauce and then you see him fill it with this red heat? <laughs> but that's how it feels. And the panic is rising, you know? I've been locked in a prison cell for a week. It's just made it a whole lot worse. Just lying there, staring at the ceiling and thinking about all the ways that Pearl and Michael might be getting hurt and worse and not being able to do anything for them. Okay, Kim. The kids are safe. And they can't wait to be with their mum again because Harry done a great job. And have you spoken to him about any of this? No. It's not what he signed up for, is it? I'm just going to keep doing what I do best and just smile. Kim, take it from someone who knows. I mean, I know this face looks pretty. It's quite smart. But I would not want to get stuck in there in solitary. I'm always better when I let people in. And, you know, if you don't want to talk to Howie, I'm always available for woodwork lessons. 